I have seen in her is a person who is an institution in itself. I've seen someone ride the wave of change so effortlessly that it makes a person think that, you know, handling change is the easiest thing in the world. Because I saw her experience changes where she's been the anchor of an organization, she's been the institutional memory of the organization, there were changes in leadership, changes in staff, changes in the political landscape, changes in the way funding is being given, and yet she tirelessly and effortlessly, with a smile, kept on working, doing that she does best, bringing all these organizations together and doing an incredible job. So I asked her a question because I am, I like to think I'm a very good leadership coach and a change management specialist, but I have faltered at plenty of times and not been able to rise to the occasion as I would like to. So I asked her, so how do you do that, Jan? I mean, how do you manage to do something and make it look so effortless? So she said, uh, you know what I mean? It's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is step back, acknowledge, and make corrections and connections. And that one line, was the wisdom of something, how can you be a better human being and a better leader? And she actually imparted me the wisdom that, which is applicable to each one of us. And I think if all of us can take that message and go home, that would be really profound, which is that we all have moments where we might not rise and shine in that moment. Let us take a moment to reflect. Let us acknowledge. Let us forgive ourselves. Let us have more compassion. Let us embrace our mistakes and learn from it. Make those corrections and make this connections which we're all doing here and move on together. So I really would like to invite all of you to please stand and give a standing ovation to this woman who deserves it so much, Janice French. Come on, she deserves it more than anyone else. Probably sitting there saying, who is she talking about? <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> oh, you're very so, humble. <laughs> so, you're very humble. I, I really want to acknowledge everything that I learned today from you, from sitting here, and the words that you gave today. That's what I've been telling my colleagues when they said, what was the, what was the conference like? And it's like, the poetry in how you spoke your stories was awe-inspiring. And I took, I took those down, and I actually have some that I want to borrow from you. Um, I, I do want to acknowledge that this is an incredible honor, and to thank Cordelia and the organizers of this conference. Cordelia told me I had one to two minutes, but that email said I had five. So I do have a few people to thank um, in addition. But one of the things was, how did I come to this work? And I told Naveen last night that midwifery is a career and it is a profession, but it's really a calling. And I was, and I've heard that from many of you today as well. When I was called to midwifery, and I have not been a practicing nurse midwife for a long time now. I've been uh, a social midwife, thanks to a new term coined by Indra today. So we have been working on changing the healthcare system from within, trying to get providers to do the best practices that we know work, and to use the human connections that we all need and have. Uh, that's one of our areas of focus. And then as Naveen mentioned, really working with community so that when moms, after they have the baby, oh, Jerry tells me one minute, after they have the baby, they have support in their community to help nurture and raise that baby. This was this work has not been done alone. It's done by an incredible team and an incredible, amazing group of mentors that I have met across my life, including the wonderful Loretta Jones, who would have loved this conference today as she started Healthy African Americans in 1992. As listening to why women were having, African-American women were having preterm births. She took their stories and moved forward with that. And I also want to acknowledge the wonderful LA Best Babies Network staff who are amazing and do work tirelessly with smiles and a spring in their step for anything that we ask them to do. And our, some of our community partners from the Antelope Valley, they drove 70 miles to get here. Not quite as far as many of you came from New Mexico and New York and Oklahoma, but thank you. And they are the ones with Asea and uh, Ileana, 
working on what's called Welcome Baby, which is in 14 hospitals, seeing moms prenatally and in the postpartum period for up to nine months to make sure that they are able to access the resources that they need, that they want, and get the support that they need to meet their family goals. So thank you for this honor, and thank you for all of the work that each and every one of you are doing day to day. And, and I'm so inspired by having met you and learned from you today.